Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Stories from Sodor, Episode 53, Fails on the Rails. One morning, Sir Tom and Matt walked up to Natford Station. Spencer, can you take a, take a ballast train up to Vickerstown? And in Vickerstown, there should be another train waiting for you there. And when you get to that train, can you take it back to the yards, please? Are you gonna do it, Spencer? Vinny said. Hank and Sam eyed him suspiciously. Um, ye yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Huh. Okay. He w Sir Tom Hatt walked away thoughtfully. Listen up. I want no trouble today. Oh, there'll be no trouble, Rickety said. Right. And Spencer pulled away. To Spencer's surprise, there was no trouble at all. The trucks didn't even give Spencer trouble on the hill. Spencer made the trip in record time. Oh, we're early. That's nice. Now, which train am I meant to take? It's the one next to us. Um, how did you know, Spencer said. We heard the yard manager talking about it. Well, alright. You've been good all day. So I'm s you must be telling the truth this time. But they weren't telling the truth. Spencer coupled up to the train and then left. Not realizing that was Oliver's train. A few minutes later, Oliver came in. Alright, now where's my train? It's the one next to you. Scruffy's in it. But... Toad isn't in that train. Oh no. And Oliver set off to couple up to the train. Pop. Goes old Ollie. Shut up, Oliver said. A few minutes later, he was all ready to go, and he puffed away through the long line of trucks. This would be fun, right, boys? Pay Ollie out. Pay Ollie out, the trucks chanted to themselves. Spencer was enjoying his time, and so was Toad. He didn't know who was pulling him. He thought it was Oliver still. Mr. Oliver's going a bit fast. Toad thought. Spencer was running low on water, but he didn't care. He knew he was almost at his destination. The hill was too much for Spencer, because when he went down it, he ran out of water and came to a halt. Why did we stop, Mr. Oliver? Wait, wait, Mr. Oliver? Uh, Toad? Ah, I took the wrong train. Figures. Look out! Look out! Thankfully, thankfully, the fuel truck was empty. The accident was horrific. What? I finally get my express coaches back together, and now there's an accident. Now I have to go back to the station and tell the sister top and hat. Ryan, Rocky, Spencer, and the breakdown crane quickly came to fix the accident up. Be more careful in the future, please. Look, running out of water can happen to anyone, but it can also be prevented easily. Now, I've scolded you long enough. Good day. How can a man sit there for five minutes and scold an engine? Why do I keep messing up? I told him to stop playing games, right? Yeah, you did. What do you propose we do now, Sam? We teach him a lesson. Tonight. That night, Spencer stayed cold and alone at Vickerstown. What do I, why do I always do stuff wrong? What the? Told you no more. Games, boy. Huh? W what? We said no more games. And what did you do? This wasn't my fault. It was an accident, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> do you think he means it, Hank? I don't know. I really don't. Hmm. <laughs> well, well, Sam, what should we do with him? Oh, I know we what we should do with him. Let's go. No, please. 
You can't do this to me. I I'm privately owned. Spencer, you want to know who your new owner is now? The C. No! If anyone asks, we'll say, um... Oh, he went back to the mainland. No questions asked. Hank replied. Nice lie, Hank. Thanks. Do any of you lot know what happened to Spencer? Sir Top Matt asked. Uh, he told us he was going to the mainland. And he said, yeah, he said he was mad sorry for all the trouble he was causing. Huh. That problem worked itself out. Good day, you three. Goodbye, sir. Mission accomplished, boys. Mission accomplished.